All right, welcome back, good people. This uh, video I'm titling Client and Customers. Now, this week's video has been based on business side of what you're what you're doing. When I say the business side, there are there's terms, there's a language that goes with business, right? Clients and customers are part of that. The video before this one was advertisement. The video before that was marketing, and the one before that was consultant. All those are in line with the business world that you would be dealing with as a consultant or as an entrepreneur online. You have to become familiar with those terms and many, many more. So uh, knowing that, feel free to go back over those videos and you know get some pointers about some of the things that I read to you about um, how to benefit in each one of those uh, avenues for you and your system because we all have different systems or different ways of doing things that's one of the things I love about my company is if I have to be a certain place at a certain time then that won't interfere with anything I have to do because I can always do what I do within my system when I want to right of course I have times that I do certain things but I can be flexible right options you want more options, choices. You want more of those. You don't want to just have to uh, take vacations in one or two places. You like to take vacations in unlimited places, right? Yeah, me too. You don't want to just drive one type of car. You want to be able to have the option of driving several types of cars, right? Yeah, me too. So that's not asking too much. It simply means you have to work to position yourself for that. Right? You have to position yourself to be able to receive that. So I'm going to read something with you about the client part of your uh, entrepreneurial journey. And just, like I say, one of the things that uh, resonates is just hearing. You know, we, we gain information and knowledge through hearing. So uh, as well as visual, but hearing is essential. That way you can play it back in your mind over and over and it'll make sense to you when you're in a situation that requires specificity that you do things a certain way you remember how that was that certain way, hopefully. <laughs> right. All right, now it says client and customers. A person or organization using the services of a lawyer or other professional person or company. A person who engages the professional advice or services of another. That is the definition by Merriam-Webster. Now, strictly defined, a customer is someone who buys goods or services from a store or business. The word client can also mean customer, according to most dictionaries, but has a separate definition as someone who receives professional services. Is consumer or customer the same thing? Ask yourself that. Someone who's a consumer or a customer, is that the same thing? The term consumer and customer are often used interchangeably, but a, cu a consumer and a customer are not always the same entity. In essence, consumers use products while customers buy them. A consumer may also be a customer, and a customer may also be a consumer, but situations occur where this is not the case. All right, another question. What is the meaning of customer relationships? Any idea? Good. Customer relationship management, CRM, is a term that refers to practices, strategies, technologies that companies use to manage and analyze customer interactions and data throughout the customer life cycle with the goal of improving customer service relationships and assisting in customer retention. I like that. Don't you like that? Cu customer relationships. See that term, customer relationships. Keep those in mind as you hear those. What is customer relations? Customer relations is the process and manner by which a business develops establishes and maintains relationships with its customers. Businesses rise and fall through the support of their customer bases. Consequently, it is absolutely essential that you develop effective customer relations. Now, how do you build customer relationships? Glad you asked. 
Here are five essential tactics. Build your network because it is your sales lifeline. Number two, communication is a contact sport. So do it early and often. Number three, email marketing keeps relationships strong on a shoestring budget. I agree with that totally. Uh, number four, reward loyal customers and they'll reward you by staying customers. Outstanding. And finally, loyal customers are your best salespeople because word of mouth gets back, right? Now, what is good customer relationship? Customer relations or customer service refers to the way a business communicates and interacts with the public to gain and retain customers. It is necessary for a business to cultivate good customer relations to attract and keep a loyal base of customers. So, what is the difference between clients and clientele? Any idea? I've also wondered that too. It says, Cl client is a single customer while clientele is a collection of your clients. Furthermore, your clientele can also be categorized by region, product, or service, etc. Now, what are the different types of customers? Did you know there were different types of customers? Here are five sales-oriented types of customers that you will encounter. The potential customer, Number two, the new customer. Number three, the impulsive customer. Number four, the discount customer. <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> and number five, the loyal customer. Those are five different types of sales oriented customers. I like that list. Uh, next, why is the customer so important? The role of the customer or the consumer in general is important in an economic system because it is the consumers who demand goods and services. When they do this, they make it so that other people can have jobs making the goods and services that they want. Now, why is it important to understand why your customers, no, no, why is it important to understand who your customers are and what their needs are? Successful business owners understand that their customers understand what their customers want and most effective the most effective way of making their products and services available. The depth of knowledge is also critical. It requires knowing more than their names, ages, and incomes. Now, understanding your customers' buying behavior is also very important because if your customer only buys once a year, or your customer buys once a week, that's a different animal, right? that's a different dynamics to understand. And finally, what are the benefits of customer retention? These are eight benefits that you may want to consider. Number one, it's cheaper than acquisition. Number two, loyal customers are more profitable. Number three, your brand will stand out from the crowd. Number four, you'll earn more word of mouth referrals. Now these are benefits of customer retention. Number five, engaged customers provide more feedback. Number six, customers will explore your brand. Number seven, loyal customers are more forgiving. And number eight, customers will welcome your marketing because you'll always wanna do more marketing with your processes so that you can see what works, what doesn't work, and you're going to be adding more and more products, right? So, you see how this works? Now, I know I made some uh, kerfuffles, I guess is a good word, along with the spelling but, or the reading of that. But don't worry about that. You got the gist of it, right? And I remember I'm making 200 videos in 365 days. You're going to have days like that. <laughs> don't, don't let that hold you back. Because that video I just completed... Or this video that you're watching is video number 110. That means I've created 109 videos prior to this one. So put yourself in those shoes and see where you are. Are you making a few errors here and there? And then you got this thing called life that we do, <laughs> right? Life outside of this is relevant as well. So what am I doing outside? 
you know, I'm making moves, right? I'm creating things. I'm not just doing this. I'm doing other things. And I hope you are too because opportunities will come, and they have. And I still have to make a decision as to whether or not I don't want to take advantage of those. But, you know, when the right one comes along, you can rest assured that I will make that decision, and it will be yes. I'm simply waiting on it, and it will come because that's how it works. If you keep putting in the effort, if I keep creating value, keep bringing uh, new information to you, sooner or later, somebody who can make a decision will say, hey, let's bring this guy on and see what we can uh, get from him, see what he can do for our crowd. I know he charges $5,000 for an hour speech, but I think we can afford it. I think our system will allow that, right? And they can because that's the business we're in. And that's the business you want to be in too. My name is Larry James. My company is Speak With Larry. My website, speakwithlarry.com. My blog, speakwithlarry.blog. My podcast show, Speak With Larry's Podcast. Simple enough, right? Have a great weekend. I'll see you on the next video.